Hello. Just wait a few seconds or minutes just to see if anybody's going to join me live. Otherwise, um, catch up later. When I'm waiting, um, I'm just going to go through some um, tonic and sweet Dixie dyes that we've got in stock. Um, and we've got our next show coming up in Taunton. Um, I'm looking up here because I'm trying to see the date. Uh, the 13th, is it the 13th? Yeah, 12th or 13th of August. I should know that. I'm pretty sure it's Sunday the 13th. It's normally on a Sunday and it's at Taunton and it's with Sincerely Yours. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get on with it because um, I think I've got one viewer I can see, don't know who it is, but I'm going to get on with it anyway because um, anyone watching this over don't want to watch me just umming and ahhing and talking about nonsense. Okay, um, unfortunately or fortunately, for those who like the C word, um, it'll be fortunately, those who don't, it'll be mostly unfortunately, but a lot of them about Christmas because we're crafters and we start early. So, first up is Tonic Amber Cuties. Number one is Penguin. And yes, he's a cutie. He's not massive, but he'd be big enough for, um, um, a, I would say, a 7x7. Seven seven. You could even get him on an 8x8, eight eight, I would imagine, if you've got um, a lot of... Uh, it's a long time since I've done these live videos. Um, a fancy dies around it, corners. Um, but yeah, he, he's ideal for see the um, size of him there it's looking a bit big he's um he'd be ideal for the smaller cards and to just bang them out for christmas if you're making a batch um he's six pounds 49 and he's tonic uh, which means excellent quality and they're very well known the next one is even cuter than the first one um, stuart has stamped the price all over his little face so i'll move that there you go santa's little helper um also 649 um same size as the penguin um you can make little um scenes out of these uh, and both together sorry about the glare on them i will get this right one day okay onwards um doing sweet dixie next um the first one i'm going to do is merry christmas because these are very very popular as you can imagine because everybody puts merry christmas or happy christmas or some christmas on there they are sizable and as it happens because we've had these in stock before i've played with them quite a bit so there you go and what i've also managed to do it's if you want offset them a bit and you've got a border, which I think looks really, really gorgeous. Okay. I'm organised this morning, you know. Got my pile. I've organised my desk. Hello, Linda. Nice to see you. Right. Merry Christmas there. And um, a very versatile one of Happy Christmas, which is Merry. Um, so put them in any order you want. Um, not as big as the other one, but would still make um, a nice centerpiece. This one is four ninety nine, and Merry Christmas was also four ninety nine. It's Sweet Dixie, excellent value, excellent quality. What more can you want? Right, moving onwards, um, a mini wreath from Sweet Dixie, also $4.99. Um, you've got your bow and your stars on there, and a sweet little wreath. Which, again, could be the focus of your card, or um, decorate it. 
Next, we have a tree, which is for 99. I think you may have seen this one before, but it sold out quickly. So it's a, a cute little tree with um, a bow. So you've got quite a few options there. Um, 4.49 and Sweet Dixie. Most of these are Sweet Dixie now. Do have one or two tonics coming up. Then we've got um, a bigger tree and that's 4.99. Um, you've also got baubles and a small bow on that one. Um, pretty intricate and fancy. You can see. Trying to do it without the glare. And next one coming up, I actually like know um, a lot of times with uh, tonic, uh, tonic, and <laughs> sweet Dixie. I can't believe the price. Okay, so we've got um, a, um, a header, or I suppose it could be a border cut into the card, and a snowflake, and a reasonable size. And as you might have seen on the front, four ninety nine. I mean. I'm not going to um, say other um, brands or what have you, but they would cost a fortune. Um, well, not a fortune, but a lot more. Then another sellout, which is the Gingerbread House. Um, as you can see, that one's six ninety nine. You've got five dice there, sizable house. Um, you've got the gingerbread man, the lolly, the candy cane, and another small cutie Christmas tree. And I'm not as organised as I thought because I've got another snow. Yeah. Okay, this is um, another back in stock, which is um, Here Comes Santa. This one's $8.99. And... As you can see, another sizable die. And, well, I've been waiting for 11, which is why I was probably a little bit late. I did a nice, well, a quick background um, of how it might look. They're falling off because uh, I only sort of tacked them and I will probably use them later at, um, with something else. But, um yeah, I've put some Starlight uh, paint on there, which is one of my favourites at the moment. But as you can see, that's really gorgeous. And you could make um, a, village, uh, a scene out of them by sort of chopping the houses up, which was another thing I was going to do, and lay them up. Um, that's when I get the moment. It can, the, you could also sort of keep, I can't, yeah, you can see the little windows. You could probably keep them in and perhaps colour them or but there you go they pop out easy as all sweet dixie ones do and along the same lines we've got um bethlehem you don't get um a hell of a lot or i haven't found a hell of a lot of um religious cards um not a lot of people have said to me that they can't get them but i'm sure there might be a few out there. I know Hunky Dory do like toppers, or they've they have done. Um, as you can see, another sizable die. You've got the palm tree, and you've got the obviously the star on there. Right, another um, very popular one back in stock, which is that one. Sweet Dixie, ten ninety nine. Bethlehem was eight ninety nine, the same as. Um, here comes Santa. You've got three uh, big dies in here. Um, and if I just show you just a few things I've done. I think you may have seen this one before. Uh, that's little um, Boo and Friends. I think that's what it's called from Magic Graphics. Um, but if you use the centre one and the bigger one, um, that's it on its own. That's the middle one. Um, I've embossed that with, I think it was wild powder, and that's the centre. Um, and that one's ten ninety nine, which is excellent value for them. Okay, so another um, back in stock is the tonic Art Nouveau. Um, it's um, 
an investment because it's 27.75 but you'll get so so many dies in there um you'll have remembered the one i did with that owl on who also we have in stock it's not a back in stock but we have in stock um so i've made a card out of that one so that's used um one of the dies what am i talking about so obviously you can use them like that um oops can use them as a frame on their own uh, that's the very middle one and that's an insert so you've got a nice sort of pattern around the edge and just another one because when I play, I play. Right. And this is a new one to us, but I thought it looked really, really nice. This was $34.99. That one. It's one of the things that's fallen out of the back. But I do have one that doesn't. There you go. And that, like um, the Art Nouveau, I'd imagine, would be um, doing the same. Yes, it would. So you've got the the frames. You can use it as a frame. You can use it as um, a topper with something on. Um, really, really versatile. So that's it for the dies. Now we have the back in stock scissors. I think you've all seen these, but in case you haven't, one pair of scissors, not them ones, um, try and cut the circle, oh, it's a heart, there you go, there we go, a circle. And then you get these, they've got a cap on and a little clip there. And we get a circle. Much better and much easier. You see. Right, so the difference with that one and that one, okay, so I've got a little bit on there, but I've got far more on this one. You've got it straight, straight on this one. So I say you've got a little bit there, but that's me because I've done it ever so fast, but you get the gist that that's how good they are. And if you come to one of the shows, if they haven't sold out, I'll have these with me so you can have a test of them um, and then to you right that's it for the stock we've had but i just want to go back to something we've got in stock um already which is um the little father christmases which go for 2.99 and they're sweet dixie so um again good quality and um good value is what i'm saying and that's just something very quick don't look too closely at it and what i did i got the outline and then um, used it and colored through and stuck it on this white beard which i've uh, coloring's awful because it was done quickly and lastly um <laughs> One that I keep getting in and then it's going, um, I only got some in this week and it flew out, is the uh, Moonlight Enchantment from Magic Graphics. Um, and as I said, you've got, they've got on their silhouettes and I've taken one of the backing papers and what I'm going to do with that one is sort of bend it round, that's beautiful. Luckily I got mine first when they came, <laughs> so uh, there you have it. 
Okay, well, thanks, Linda, for joining me. I, I, hopefully, you're still here. You know, it looks like you've disappeared. Um, that's it for me today. Um, it's I'll be putting it on YouTube. So, for those um, watching on YouTube, it's Friday the fourth of August, um, and we've got a show week Saturday at Taunton with Sincerely Yours. Um, if you're looking for any of the items, I'm going to be putting links below. Um, otherwise, just have a look at www.fantasycrafts.co.uk. And I'll see you all again. Bye.